Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a super fun project that I recently made for my porch prints. And um, I will link everything below that I have used, including the kits for this particular one. Um, but just the uh, top of my head, I know I've used the lavender loaded envelope, the floral wood papers, and one of the big ephemera packs. So let me just take you in. I super love how this came out. And um, I'm just going to show you first, I guess, the front because there's just a lot to see. And then I'll get into the back of it. So as you can see here, there's lots of layering, lots of different pieces to look at. I've got some laces. I've got some, you know, little fabric remnants here and there. And then the back has this beautiful applique and you can just see a little bit of it just hanging there um, and then pockets and stuff. So I think I'll start, I'll start on the back because otherwise I'll forget to, to, to do it afterwards. So um, I've added a pocket here and you can see just the gorgeous pieces. They're all ephemera from um, Stephanie's kits. And then I've also used some pieces from J9 Scraps and I will link her shop below like the layaway tag here. And what I did is I just kind of made a double little tag there with another ephemera sticking out of this one. This is a really nice and thick cardstock I recently found um, at a thrift store, just really nice thick cardstock. So, so that's the back and you can see the gorgeous um, florals. This is the lavender one, as I mentioned. So now on the front, I'm gonna show you um, first off, I guess I'll start with the little bottom here, the little envelope. And then this is, again, another little piece from J9 Scraps. And I added some um, of the paper. I kind of punched it to fit in that little circle and added one of the beautiful tickets. And then on this side, you have just layering again. I made one of those. Actually, let me just open that up because see the butterfly paper clip I love it butterfly themed butterfly theme so I've got a little tuck spot here on the side of this bag and then I'll open this up it's velcro and then you've got a Tim Holtz beautiful tag that I made again you can see the beautiful paper that I used so this um, opens up and here we have a bag Again, this is from J9 Scraps. And I just did a little bit of layering, collaging. This one is handmade paper. And then I added a beautiful die cut, a floral die cut. And this is also from J9 Scraps. And I just thought it was, you know, kind of like a perfect ephemera holder that could sit on your desk. That's kind of my thought of it. So this is the lace here that's holding the bag. And I added that as well to kind of help it from pop, you know popping out so I'm going to open it up as you can see there's lots of little secret places here I'll show you I'll start with the left so the belly band or the tuck spot here has some beautiful pieces again and because I used envelopes to make this I made sure to keep them open because I wanted to use them and see how I've kind of blended it nicely in there so you can't really see it but there's a pocket there and here I just added some coffee spray paper it just goes back in maybe I'll put that in later I'm not sure <laughs> you saw that it fit so I'll have to fix it I'm not sure what I'm doing with that right now but I'll pop it out just for now because I think I squished it okay so I'll stick these pieces just back in and I'll do the paper later um, on this side we have another envelope tuck spot here and here I just added another piece from J9 scraps again you can kind of see how I've made sure to leave the opening um, so you can sort of not see it if you didn't want to on this side of the pockets I have a little um, another pocket that I made with music book pages and then just some of the ephemera Again, you can see the beautiful prints and that just goes there and then here I made another little tuck spot. This was something that was left over from, oh gosh, I don't know. So anyways, I just thought I would add, I like the numbers and the colors. 
So on this, oh, before I forget, giant pocket at the top as well because it's the full envelope that goes all the way in. So you can see that that would be a nice pocket there. So here at the bottom, um, this is a vintage um, index card. I've shown you these before. I recently found those at a thrift store. And you can see the beautiful pa um, paper and how I've layered it, etc. I love how this one came out, you guys. So I made this with the sewing, um, you know, that paper. I forgot now what it's called, but it's that paper that comes with your patterns, sewing paper, pa sewing pattern paper. Um, I added it with washi tape and then I added the die cuts. Aren't they cute? You can take them out and use them somewhere else. And that was my whole idea of behind this. This whole piece can be taken out if you wanted to, but it's on a nice sturdy thick cardstock. And then the top here just has some two more elements, which is this really nice, um, kind of looks like a post stitch, uh, sorry, a postcard. And this is again from the kit. And then a tiny version of the envelope. I just kind of did a little bit of collaging on it and you can still put stuff in there and it's got that nice texture. So you guys, I had so much fun putting this together. I hope I didn't forget to show you anything. Um, as always, questions, comments, please leave them below. Um, I'll definitely be making another one for the shop. This one is already spoken for. So if you're interested, just shoot me an email um, and let me know and I uh, hope you guys are um, you know having a, a good day and enjoying the time that we have to be at home okay guys thanks so much for stopping by